Let's say you've got a new thing to promote in your website. Maybe it's a product or service. Maybe it's an initiative like an email list or a learning course. Maybe it's something downloadable. Whatever it is, it's definitely a thing. And it's not just a basic thing either. It's a substantial thing, something that you really want your visitors to kind of be able to wrap their arms around. So the question is, how do you draw attention to this thing on your website? Like, to me, it just doesn't feel right if we present this with just a basic link. What we're linking to is too substantial, it's too important. It needs something more than just a basic link. And so, how can we make it clear to visitors that this thing we're presenting them is substantial and not just some basic information that they maybe don't need to pay too much attention to? Furthermore, how can we create anticipation and set expectations with our audience so that they know what they're about to get into when they click on one of our substantial links. So how, how do we do this? What's the best way to present these items to our audience? These are the questions I'm gonna answer for you in this video, and I'm gonna do so using one of my favorite tools, something called Focus Cards. It's the ultimate way to present a thing on the internet. All right, strap in, let's check this out. All right, we are looking at one of my websites and specifically it's a sales page for a product called Focus. Focus is a big product, it is substantial. There's a lot going on. It's got tons of features, it's got tons of information, tons of documentation. There's over 100 videos that I've done around this. Uh, if you buy Focus, you get access to forums. There's a lot going on here. This is not just like a basic thing I'd link you to and say, oh, here you go, have a good day. Uh, no, Focus is substantial, and if I'm going to link you to Focus, I'm going to need to do a little better than just a link in the middle of a sentence or something like that. I need something that I can use to convey the information you need before you click through so you know what you're about to look at. I've got another product similar to that as well. It's called the Golden Ratio Typography Calculator. I've got multiple modes on this thing. I've got a calculator for uh, adding typography to your emails, uh, email newsletters. Um, I've got a style guide. I mean, there's a lot going on here as well. This is not just a basic link kind of thing, right? This is a substantial thing that I would want you to have some idea about before I send you over to this page, okay? How can we present links to big substantial things like this in a way that really gets our audience anticipation, fills them with anticipation, makes them want to click through, and also gives them an idea about what they're likely to find when they land on your page? Well, like I said, we're gonna use focus cards to do that. And I'll show you a couple of examples here. This is my personal website, a little snippet from it. And we can see here, I've got a focus card. A card consists of an image and then some text. Okay, that's the basic construction of a card. The most basic type of card is an image at the top and some text underneath. You can have a little title and subtitle in here, uh, but these are just some basic ones. This one's got a list, this one's got some text. But my focus card, I tell you some things about focus. You can kind of get an idea about what to expect. It's a WordPress theme. It's got great presentation styles. It will conquer responsive design for you. It eliminates page builders. Okay, now you know what you're likely to find when you check out focus. Same thing goes for the golden ratio typography calculator. I describe what you're likely to find there. I get you a little bit excited for what you're about to see. It's like magic. And then maybe you click through and go check this thing out. But this to me feels a lot better than presenting like these links up here within the copy. It's just never, it doesn't hit the same way. It doesn't, it doesn't look like a thing. It doesn't look like something I could buy. It doesn't look tangible. These cards help give a tangible and digestible quality to information you're presenting. Like I see because of the way this presented that focus is a thing. I can tell the golden ratio typography is also a thing. I'm not so sure about this. This looks like links to some pages and just information. It hits different, that's the bottom line. So I use these things liberally and I think you should do this as well. Anytime you want to present something that is substantial and not just like, you know, a basic vanilla link on the internet. Here's my DIY themes homepage. I use a card to, to introduce an email list and there's a sign up form right here so you can go ahead and do that. I also introduce focus in the same way, give you some bullet points you can use as references, things that might appeal to you, and then you go to the sales page and reinforce them, and you're like, ah, focus does what I need, I'm gonna buy it. 
I also use cards to present add-on components that you can buy, focus cards being one of them. Got a little inception here, I'm using a focus card to present focus cards. These cards also have titles, whereas the previous ones I showed you did not. I've got buttons here at the bottom. You can use any elements you want inside your cards, but as a full presentation, this looks like its own tangible little thing. It's great. We've got another example. I've got, here's a single card presented after an article on my site. This one is designed to get you to opt into my email list. Got another example, a premium subscription product here. So this is your intro to that, and then you go to the sales page. And then I've also got another email opt-in form over here, right there on the homepage. Simple stuff, pretty cool. So I showed you this motif. We've got two cards presented across. I also showed you the single card here. Cards are really flexible. You can go up to four wide on a desktop display. I'll show you all of those. Here's one with three wide. And notice these cards are image only, so they don't have any text underneath. But Focus Cards makes it really easy to present things side by side like this. And then it works in a responsive environment as well. I'll show you that. So if we look at this in a responsive viewport, we can see that these things will sort of self-arrange based on how much uh, space we have in the viewport and then when it gets really small they just stack on top of one another but it all energetically this hits the same way this this presentation so cards are really useful for that when you want to present something side by side it's not that easy to just create your own new element and have that work you would need to add some CSS to your website add some custom HTML also and that would have to work with the CSS that's a pretty technical Thing to undertake. So it's beautiful that cards allow you to present them up to four across in a grid and, and it just works. All your responsive stuff just works. It all just works. So I mean, it's pretty nice. You're getting a huge benefit here, not just the presentation, but also managing that presentation across the variety of different displays, which is now really the, the toughest job in web design. Let's look at some more of these cards. Here is another website. This is not mine, but this is a great use of cards. Notice how these are very simple. They're using a card title on each one to showcase the juiciest bit of information, how much money these people made on each of these deals. The card images, also very clever here, they suggest that there is a playable video associated with this thing. And lo and behold, on the page you get to, there is a clickable video and a bunch more information. This is a great way to use cards. Also notice using them in a three across grid. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's look at a four across example. I've got this from my own documentation for cards. Uh, if you have small bits of information, perhaps you have enough real estate to do this kind of four across grid display of cards. But as you can see, again, we've got a little image at the top and then some supplementary text underneath. This is the essence of cards. And you also have different display styles, of course. But this is the essence of cards, and, and this is why they're so useful. They are modular in that you can put them into any environment, and whether you're on a little screen or a big screen, it all kind of works the same way. It visually feels about the same. And it's a really clear way to present, like I said, a thing and differentiate it from another thing. Like, obviously, standard and soft are different here. Obviously, focus and golden ratio typography are different things. Each one is its own thing, but each one also seems substantial because of the way focus cards, the presentation works. One question I get from time to time is, well, it's kind of a pushback question here. It's like, well, why do I really need focus cards? There's other ways to draw attention to things on websites, and that's absolutely true. Let's look at the most common form of drawing attention on websites for the last 15, 20 years, and that has been the use of something called a banner. Let's look at a banner. Here is a banner right up here at the top. So you got this yellow bar. So these do work. It depends, especially depends on the type of traffic you get and how your traffic gets to your website. If you have a lot of repeat visitors, this type of thing works for a very short time. Uh, if you have a lot of new visitors, this thing will work over a much longer time. But also, whenever you present things like this, there, there is some element of banner blindness that goes along with this because so many other websites use this same motif to present some obnoxious stuff to you generally stuff that makes them money that you're maybe interested in, but maybe not, right? And so when people use things in disingenuous ways or ways that aren't completely above board, people end up associating that with negatives and end up just becoming blind to it. They're like, eh, I know to avoid this, this is gonna be a, a crappy link, take me to some crappy destination and something I don't care about. So when that happens, you have to be aware of these other mechanisms, like you may not be making these mistakes, but other people are, and that affects the way your visitors interpret these items on your page. 
focus cards are a great way to abandon this banner motif, things that don't necessarily work or that get poisoned by other people's usage of them. Cards are a great way to kind of step outside of that mentally and get your visitors focused purely on what you offer and specifically on the substantial thing that you are trying to show them. Let's keep going with that. So there's banners, there's other things you can do. You can do stuff like yellow pop-up more, new, you know, something like that to indicate like, oh, this is great. So here's a website that, it's kind of a joke, but here's a website that's been known for doing that for a long time. It's called Ling's Cars. So you've got flashing lightning bolt, the car hops up and down, you know, the price tags are always presenting these loud yellow stickers. We got blinking things. This site's known for having loud stuff that just hollers at you to like pay attention to me. But these types of elements, we kind of on the whole think of them as being really obnoxious and not that useful. Like when there's so much information density like this and everything is calling at me with movement and flashing and blinking and all this stuff, when all that's happening, I'm getting information overload. I don't actually wanna look at the specifics of any of these things because I'm exhausted from looking at this. Like it's just too much information to parse. So we don't wanna get into that boat when we are advertising these substantial things on our site. But what we do wanna do is use these professional looking and much more subtle impact focus cards because they, they make it clear that a thing is a thing and you need to look at this thing. They're really easy to create. They're really easy to output in the way that you want as a standalone card or two across, three across, four across type grids. You can do all that stuff. It's very easy. So here are my cards that I have created on the Golden Ratio Typography website. These guys are super easy to create. You give it a title. You can put some content in here, but since these particular ones don't have any content, it's just the image. All you're gonna find here is the fact that we've added an image. Got some other options for you way, the way you want this thing to display. You can define a link. So when somebody clicks on it, it goes to this URL on your website or to an external website. There's no limits here. You can add other details so you can design all your cards exactly how you want, but you don't need to design anything. Focus Cards has some generalized design settings. You can set all those and make your cards look and behave precisely how you want, and then you never have to touch that stuff again. You can also add groups to cards, which is one way that I output something like this. I have a bunch of cards on the website, but I only want to output these three right here. Well, I've added a specific group tag to each of these three, and then I can say, okay, output this card group right here in this location, and boom, it only outputs the cards from that group. So you have total control over the way these things are output. You have control over how you build them, what content they're going to include. And so essentially you have total control over how they look. And then, so here's how we output the cards. It's as simple as this. You stick a short code into the WordPress editor. And this it doesn't have to be the WordPress editor. Anywhere in WordPress that accepts a short code, you can drop some cards. You can drop a card short code to output a single card, or you can drop a card group short code to output a grid of cards. And then you specify what kind of grid you would like. For example, this one's a grid of three. And then that's what we get. And like I said, all the responsive design stuff, it just works for you. It's all tidied up. You don't have to do a thing. All you have to do is create your beautiful images here and think about the way you want to present the substantial things that you have to offer on your website. All right, got it? You need focus cards. This is the best way to present things on your website right now and moving forward. This is it. Cards are the answer you've been waiting for. You need to add these to your website repertoire today. See you in the next video.